Uh, we've got David, the Arsenal fan. Uh, David, you're live on Talk Sport. What do you uh, have to say about the captaincy? Uh, hi, Jamie. Evening, Jermaine. Um, Evening, yeah, j- just, uh, just think about it. I mean, I've got a little WhatsApp group going with, with the Ars- our Arsenal fans, and we've been having this debate, funny enough. And for me, my my, my view is uh, Kieran Tierney. And, and the debate is like, is it next season? Is it the season after? Is he too young? But I, I'd have him in there straight away. I think you, you made the points, Jamie, a little bit earlier for the reasons that you said. I, just, I think he's... For me, he's got the attributes of a young Tony Adams. Yeah, and uh, and, and I think that's what Arsenal need. Do, do you it think it, Do you think it's a little bit early for him? I, I know he's he's awesome, Tierney, and he yeah. is, in my opinion, a future Arsenal captain. Yeah, yeah. Do you think it's a little bit early to put that pressure on him? Still a young lad. Well, one of one of the guys on our group thinks we should push the boat out by Declan Rice and put him in as captain. But, so that's another debate. <laughs> <laughs> and, and he said, he said to me, Tim, he could be vice captain. But no, I, I, yeah, it is pushing about. I think you're right. I think it is a touch early, but I think it's what Arsenal need, Jamie. It's that leadership. It's that energy. It's that enthusiasm. It's that, you know, coaxing others. Have, have um, you been disappointed with Aubameyang this season with his performances? Yeah. That's... And just how he's acted as well, like the turning up late, North London derbies, you know, it's yeah. not good enough, is it? No, no, it's not. And Jermaine made a point uh, about w- what he's done, though, for Arteta, and I totally agree, Jermaine. And, and you know, on his day, he's world-class. There's no, no doubt about that. But mm. is he a leader? I, read your, I heard your text from Bianca, and I agree with everything she said. It's that leadership. When we were in the doldrums, when Spurs were flying, your mob, Jamie, yeah. when they were flying, we were in the doldrums, and, and, and it, was, it was Kieran Tierney and Saka, I thought, were the standouts, and... And there were others were walking around with their heads down on their chest, you know. And mm. Aubameyang was, was that. About, unfortunately, I have to say, Aubameyang was, was that guy. And uh, when the things are going well, you know, he'll, he'll, he'll produce a hat-trick, you know, out of nothing. But I'm thinking when things aren't going so well, we need Tony Adams, ex, you know, in that sort of form, getting the others going, leading by example. And through that bad patch, he led by example. David, um, unfortunately, a lot of others didn't follow. Hi, da- Dwayne. David, no, no, it's Craig here. I just want to ask you. Um, you know, you got your your front four. Who who is who would your front four be for this Liverpool game? I've picked the team already, Craig. I, I didn't know he was going to ask me that. <laughs> uh, my, my my front four. I'd have Party and Jacker holding. Yeah. And in front of them, I'd have three, and I'd have uh, Smith Rowe on the left. I'd have Odegaard in the middle, Saka on the right if he's not fit, uh, Pepe, and. That this is this is it. Now this is for me. I, I'm questioning. I, I I'm like I said to my son this morning. Abamyang stroke Laka. My son, who's 18, mad Arsenal now, season ticket holder as well. And and he said Laka because of the consistency, because of the what we saw against Spurs. And 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 we're a little bit. Can we rely on Abamyang at the moment? That, mm. That's that, I'm afraid to say that. But. Okay. Mm. Thanks, David. Great yeah. call, mate. Appreciate Cheers, it. David.